Hey guys, if this is your first time or you just forget, my name is Mank, you are watching Mandroid, so let's get started. So guys, in this video, I am going to reviewing the stock Optimax version 3 ROM or stock optimized version 3 ROM for J7. So let's get started. Uh, the previous video is on the installation of this ROM. So link in the description, just check it out and uh, various videos for J7 also just check it out. And uh, I also created a group on the whatsapp if you have any query or if you want to share any thoughts about technical or tech just message and the link in the description below just check it out so let's get started first of all let's power it on because let's me uh, take out this cover first okay so first of all boot up we have the new boot animation as you see here so we get a new boot animation white background and here is it so it is quite nice it is of note 7 i guess and uh, we also get grazed ui in it so okay so here we get a normal lock screen let me adjust the brightness first of all okay this is perfect so we get a normal lock screen as we get and a launcher of s7 i guess so here is the launcher and the theme the theme story is working so don't ask me again and again and let me set up this okay so the theme store is working and here's a new launcher with search bar on the top and uh, okay and here is the new what we call it status bar or notification panel let me adjust the brightness okay so here you see we get new state notification bar and we also get a uh, s bike mode that was not available in s5 new rom and we also get this toolbox so here is not toolbox and when i turn it on here is the toolbox little icon just click on it and here is some apps it is a non scrollable and you can also edit this so just explore it on and here we get a multi support but it is not working so it is not working guys and uh, capture a screen when we capture a uh, like a screenshot wait okay so we get a multiple option to have or edit so let's quickly jump to the setting what we get in the setting and uh, so as a typical we get this all and here we get add away beat sounds add away for add blocking and super su in this or super su whatever you call it and uh, here is the display we don't get any special thing in it and uh, here is the floating messages of s7 this is a s7 feature i guess so it is a quite nice feature or handy so and when we when you get a message this the chat head like messenger we get so in advanced feature we get a games folder game launcher and game tool game tool has some bug when we when we click on the record so it is 
unfortunately game tool has stopped so it is a bug and uh, cool and smart capture smart alert and galaxy lab and user you get a multiple user interface so so when i switch to my another account we get i get a neat and clean ui with no app that i not installed and uh, you get you also install two app, two things so different different apps in different different users so let's me quickly jump to the my original so here is my malik and uh, so here accessibility and here is the galaxy store you don't get galaxy store in app menu guys you get this in the setting and uh, battery so it has a frankly guys it is not having a good battery life it has good battery but not as good as we get in s5 new rom and so you get three options like off mid and max to save more power and this is the user interface of battery i like i really like it and i appreciate the developer for making this room and in about devices we get let me close up this so here we get stock optimized version 3 date october and developer this 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 and in software info here we get android security patch level of july 1st oh my god it was off july 1st and here today is december 1st so it was about 6th or 7 month ago this is my god it is so old guys and uh, in you get marshmallow in it 6.1 and uh, this much and uh, you also get a grace ui what we call it phone dialer so when i open the phone dialer it is a grace ui and apps are opening at very high speed or quickly rapidly so let's test the internet explore internet that we get inside it so i open google how fast okay it is good and uh, gallery same as when video same and uh, camera is also same radio same and all the things my files grace ui and calendar same you also get game launcher in it so game launcher and then we have music new but unfortunately second bug unfortunately beat sound has stopped so it is an another work i explored it so far so we find it two bugs in this room it is so small that you did not what we call you find it so you use it as a daily driver room or daily uses but but i re highly recommended s5 new room if you don't see yet just go in the description below and just check it out my s5 new room review and installation so here we get s voice s voice and smart manager new style so let's we find it that how much ram we get after optimization oh my god optimization so here is the ram ram 
and when we clean it let me see how much we get so we get only 550 or 557 43 here so we don't get an a large number of RAM free for us so if you want to do a high performance or gaming I really recommend you to have a S5 Neo ROM S5 Neo version 3 ROM on your Samsung Galaxy J7 so check it out the links in the description below the review and the installation of S5 Neo ROM and it is also good ROM but if you want a be good battery life as well as a good performance you definitely go with S5 new ROM so it is has a new Grace UI it is an pros of this ROM so I really like this new interface it is so good and uh, if you like this video thumbs up subscribe my channel and for more videos thanks for watching have a nice day bye bye